This is my 1980 California Corvette. I've had it for about 10 years. You get a shot of the, the wheels. The paint, the paint is very smooth, gloss black, no scratches anywhere around it. No dents, car's never been in an accident. You'll notice that I did only two weeks ago, lost this front center cap, but I do know the model number of the wheels. This is it. It's got fiberglass T-tops, which are also in good shape. They do not leak. They pop off in all of about 30 seconds. Passenger side. See the interior, door panel. As the original seats, it's been about seven years. You can see the seats are a little bit faded as any cloth does when you uh, drive it with the tops off, which 95% of the time I do. It's got the original bags. There's no tears in them for the covers. That is a wooden cup holder that I have for it that I purchased that pops right on top there. The console, let me go around to the other side, first of all. Uh, it's got the Corvette logo mats, which aren't stock, but they're an option. Everything works in it. The clock, uh, I take that back. There's a couple things I listed. The clock doesn't work. The cruise control doesn't work. Let me go to the other side. Close that door. Go around here. We will reach in and start fire it up. Hop in. Master exhaust. Good sounding car. Not so loud you get a ticket. Drives good. Shut it off. Look the front end. There is a, as all, most of these, if you look at these Corvettes, it's the later C3s, you'll see a crack in the nose. Okay or cracks through here. This car does not have that. The nose has never been hit, nor has the cowling. However, this is not a hit. This car was never hit here. This is just a stress fracture, but it is a fracture in the paint. Okay, a small fracture. And it changes with the heat and cold. It gets a little bit, it doesn't get any wider than it is right now. All right, let's pop the hood. I can find the darn lever. This is the motor. Let me start it up with the hood open. Should have left it running. Alternator a couple years ago, a couple of weeks ago, last fall replaced the vacuum boost. Um, aside from that, haven't had hardly any engine work done on it. It's always been extremely reliable. It's not a fuel injection car, but it is computer controlled engine. Okay, wipers work, washers, all of that works. Air conditioning needs to be recharged. You can see the gloss in the paint. It's an extremely high quality paint job. I guess, probably, not that you're going to get a lot. Shut this off. Hold on, I was adjusting the wheel. Telescoping an adjustable wheel. Would be the sound system, I suppose. It's an Alpine sound. And I listen to all these. And as funny as it may seem. Amplifier behind the seat right there. Some people get their kicks. Stop in on a dream. I mentioned a couple of small things. One of the things in this car and the other C3 I used to own is a check engine light pops on occasionally while you're driving it. That's not used to, that's not due to engine overheating or anything. It just has to do with vacuum adjustments. And the choke light comes on all the time. But it, again, it doesn't mean anything. I think it's because the uh, as the emission controls were removed from this engine uh, to give it more horsepower, uh, it caused the choke light to come on. Uh, when I replaced the door panels, I also bought emblems and put them on the doors, which is not stock. Um, I can show you popping off the T-tops if you want, but I don't have anybody here to hold the camera. Um, 
they pop right off in about literally 30 seconds and back on again. Uh, there's not a lot else I can tell. I can answer any questions about the car. Okay. But uh, it's pretty straightforward as far as tread on the tires. Let's see. Not much else to say about it. I've driven it practically every sunny day in the summers for the last 10 years. And it's been garage stored throughout any winter, no salt or anything like that. And that's pretty much all I can say about it.